guys. So um, the other day I was in the IBA elementary affairs meeting and we were talking about um, the Jupiter mouthpiece kit um, that you can now uh, get for having your kids um, virtually try um, instruments. And I was reporting that I did a side by side where I took like the um, Jupiter flute head joint. Um, I know that's kind of hard to see, but head joint and I blew into it. And then I took a real flute head joint and blew into it. And um, it was pretty darn similar. And the same thing, you have like a, a mouthpiece um, for brass and it, you attach this little ring thing and then it's about the same size as a trombone mouthpiece. Um, and it's pretty similar. I'm, I'm a clarinet player, uh, but it was similar enough for me. Where I got a little stuck, of course, is with the clarinet um, because the clarinet mouthpiece um, and particularly the reed felt very different to me. So, um, this is this is the clarinet mouthpiece, and the way they've designed it is to be very um, student and and parent friendly, where you can just like open this little clip thing, and that's where the mouthpiece or the reed slides in. Um, the reed. This is the front of the reed facing out, and so you can see it has like all these ridges. And um, when you put the mouthpiece and reed together, it does just kind of fall into place, which I really like because if you're doing this online, it's going to be really hard to, to teach somebody to do that. Um, so for our purposes today, I am going to attach this to an extra barrel that I have. Now these mouthpieces are not designed to attach to real instruments. Um, but if you've ever played a clarinet mouthpiece without a barrel, it's pretty terrible. So, um, I'm just jamming it on there. And what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a regular mouthpiece and kind of comparing the height. And um, I'm gonna jam it on there so it's about the same height um, as my regular um, clarinet and um, uh, mouthpiece and barrel just so our ears aren't bleeding by the end. Okay, so um, this is my Jupiter mouthpiece and just a, a stock barrel that I have. This is the Jupiter reed that comes with it. And um, I'm gonna, it should be an F sharp. And it's pretty much an F sharp. Um, now, don't get excited about using these plastic reeds for like everyday use, like once your kids get um, the clarinet because it was it took me forever before I started the video to get this read on right. Um, it does go on, but because of that grid, it, it does not go on comfortably at all. So I had to kind of force it just for this test. So this is my regular mouthpiece. It's a, a height is what I usually teach on. It's a barrel to my clarinet and um, a banade ligature just because that's what I like to use. So um, this is with the same kind of reed because the kit actually comes with two. Not sure why, but you got two. So I thought I'd try to just compare it next to each other. So this is a real mouthpiece, real ligature, real barrel. So it does get the same pitch. You can tell I'm like struggling to get a sound. Pops right out. It's super easy. In fact, in my clarinet teacher opinion, it's too easy. But this is not good at all. So please don't try to do that um, with your poor clarinet players. Um, so what I also wanted to do was do some side by side. One of the questions was soft. It doesn't really determine um, who your, your clarinet players are going to be with the right embouchure. So next I'm going to compare this with a Rico two and a half. And I was happy to see that it does indeed fit in there. Doesn't go in quite as smooth and slick, but it does fit. Okay. So here's what this sounds like. Again, this is the Jupiter mouthpiece and ligature just stuck a barrel on it just so it wasn't quite so painful to our ears. Rico size two and a half. So my tuner that I'm looking at says it's a G instead of an F sharp. Um, so the harder reeds are going to make the pitch uh, more stable, 
Um, and it doesn't surprise me that it goes up a little bit. Okay, this is a Mitchell Lurie size three, which is often what I start my beginners on, although I'm quite indecisive about that. <laughs> Sounds very similar to the Rico two and a half. This is a Juno size three. Again, you can see these reeds just go on and off really easily, which is like a nice bonus. Yikes. Okay, so that one's harder to control um, for me. I don't know if that's because of the reed or because of the mouthpiece. Sorry that you had to live through my squeaks. Um, now, the last reed that I want to show you um, is a reed that uh, we would probably all be horrified if our students used, um, but it's called a... Uh, Riga, and that's the only word that I can read on this label. And notice it doesn't have a size marked. Um, I bought it on Amazon. Yes, you can judge me if you'd like. Um, but the reason that I bought it is because it's a synthetic reed. Um, it comes in three colors, uh, and I chose to get a black one. And I wanted to check this out for mouthpiece testing because um, – it's a harder synthetic reed, but it was only $2. So um, you can buy three packs of these, pa a three pack for like six bucks. Um, so that's like really um, quite reasonable. Um, and uh, no, I don't promote synthetic reeds under normal circumstances. Um, however, these aren't normal circumstances. So if you're looking for synthetic reeds that you can, um, if you are going to do live mouthpiece testing and you want to um, have your kids uh, be able to try something and then stick it in the dishwasher or whatever to sanitize, I think this would work. Um, so let's see how this sounds. Again, this is the Jupiter mouthpiece and ligature, which by the way, that doesn't come apart. It's all one piece. And this is my... Uh, Fancy Riga, Riga, whatever it is, synthetic reed. And actually, um, that was an F sharp, uh, which is what it's supposed to be. And um, actually, I don't mind at all how that feels as a clarinet player. The other ones I had to really kind of choke on. They felt too soft because obviously as a, a real clarinet player, I don't usually play on a Rico two and a half. But on this reed, this Riga reed, which I'm now putting on my actual mouthpiece and, and barrel. Um, it really doesn't feel too bad to me. So nice F sharp. Um, so uh, they're probably tricky to find. Um, you can tell by the, the label that uh, it is not American made, but uh, it's something for you to consider. So um, that's my little research on reeds. So the big question was, do actual reeds fit on the Jupiter mouthpieces? And the answer is yes. And um, remember, I just stuck a regular, it doesn't fit very well, um, but that was just um, for our own sanity. Uh, so you don't have to hear me squeak and squawk quite so badly on just the mouthpiece. So hopefully this information is uh, helpful to you and good luck in mouthpiece testing.